More of the $1.9 trillion stimulus money is making its way to Rhode Island today. Tens of millions of dollars heading to local community health centers, all aimed at getting minority populations and essential workers vaccinated. Erica Ritchie, live outside of one of those community centers now in Cranston. Yeah, guys, we're here at the CCAP Community Center on Cranston Street in Cranston. And at noon today, members of our congressional delegation will meet here to announce a boost in vaccination funding to the tune of $33.5 million at eight community health centers statewide. Here at CCAP in Cranston, they're slated to receive about $3 million of that. Now, according to a press release put out by Senator Jack Reed's office, it is part of a slice, rather, of the $6 billion pie that uh, the president announced and earmarked for community health centers nationwide late last week. Its goal is simple, to expand access to vaccines, particularly in minority communities. Now, members of our congressional delegation say it's about access and outreach. In the meantime, the fifth state-run vaccination site opened in Woonsocket in the old Sears building yesterday. 400 people were vaccinated there. They were all talking about the light at the end of the tunnel, right? They're doing their part. We're making the, the vaccine available. We're kind of taking it that last mile. Uh, and getting it uh, into their arms, and people are very excited. All right, and so the goal of this new injection of funds that's going to be announced later today is to get people of all ethnicities and races excited about getting vaccinated. Once again, that will be spread across the money, rather, will be spread across eight community health centers statewide. We've got a breakdown for you on our website, WPRI.com, which centers are getting the money and how much. And again, that news conference will be at noon here at the CCAP in Cranston. Jim Langevin, Senator Jack Reed, and other community leaders will be on hand for that. Live in Cranston this morning, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. And in the meantime, the vaccination push continues in Rhode Island today. An injection of cash to local community outreach centers whose goal it is to motivate the minority communities to get their COVID shot. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie joins us now live outside one of those centers in Cranston. And Pat, this is no small check that we're talking about. It's $33.5 million spread out across eight community health centers statewide here. All of it aimed at making sure that the black and Hispanic communities are not left behind when it comes to COVID relief. Now, according to a press release from Senator Jack Reed's office, this is Rhode Island's piece of the $6 billion pie that President Biden earmarked for community health centers nationwide late last week. Its goal is simple, to expand access to vaccines, particularly in minority communities. Members of our congressional delegation say it's about access and outreach. They're driving folks to the state-run mass vaccination sites. The fifth one, by the way, opening yesterday in Woonsocket in the old Sears building. We could vaccinate you know, 10 or 15,000 people a week in this facility. It's just a matter of once the vaccine becomes available, we're certainly eager to, to get to those numbers. All right, but again, if they build it, they need people to come, and that's what this most recent injection of cash is aimed at doing, getting people to overcome the vaccine hesitancy and get those shots in the arms. We've gone ahead and put a list up on our website, WPRI.com, the eight community centers that will be getting the money and how much each of them is earmarked to receive. Check it out right now, once again, WPRI.com. The press conference, by the way, will be here this afternoon at noon with Senator Reed, Congressman Langevin, and other community leaders. Live in Cranston, Erica Richard. 12 News.